facilitator, gatecrasher, that's how they called me. But I would like um, to tell you what I do, what my passions are. And I always say with young people I have three legs. Sharing voices, sharing spaces and sharing futures. And I did some kicks 25 years ago, so we do with them out of the box thinking and paradigm mapping. And we really looked with the Council of Europe on new ideas for science and art, new spaces for culture and society. And I'm always, when I find this book yesterday, I say, what bullshit is this? New narrative, body and mind, these are very old negatives. And where is the narrative of the tree? Where is the narrative of the space? So these are my concerns. I know it's deep and difficult questions. But what I actually do is sharing voices. We with Farah do these magic round tables where we prepare for an STD dialogue because we learn to listen. All these cultures say, two ears, one mouth. So you have to say and be terse and you have to be aware when you say something. And they train this in 130 for politicians and media, but the other people, they always fight for their thing and then they listen to talks in monologues. That's why I feel we should sit in circles and that's what we do around these magic round tables. And then we look into this talking with SDD. I just did with the slides from Gail a presentation for a European Grundweg project where it's called negative body image. But it's actually a body image when people don't have language anymore. When they are obese and it goes even into uh, pathologies. So I'm very much into social and cultural pathologies and that is how I came to learn John Warfield it's more than 20 years ago because he was interested in these mind bugs and mind boggles. And this was a group on an art of governance called Panasics, not just looking in the happiness of Bhutan, the Sukha, but the suffering, what the leader should do. So I think we need also enlightened leaders, and then we should share, follow, or get out of the way, like the Indians do. You're not something forever. And there's always a cycle, maybe a women in the, in the background who have already learned to take their ego out. So, this is what we do around using such methods, Magic Roundtable and SDD, but also, and this is of deep concern to me, looking with the UN and ECOSOC into the MDGs and SDGs. MDGs are the Millennium Development Goals. And now they did it for many years, and then now they stop it, and they start the SDGs. But they always do it in silos. They don't connect. And Yanis has done MDG projects with Europeans from East Europe. We're proposing now in the UN with ECOSOC some proposals to really come to win-win-win situations, like we're proposing here now with the reformers or with Black Soil or the European Commission. So so next is sharing spaces. I have a, had a very difficult problem 25 years ago. The question is, what is system Earth? The first figure of the Club of Rome was, all the interests of the people are here, but the concerns of the Club of Rome, 72 report, was here. Donella Meadows actually was behind this. And she was in leverage points, not in tipping points. So I think we have to look into how we present and my profession is map and model maker and so I took this and I worked for an exhibition called Global Change Sciences, Challenges for Science and Politics in the German Chancery into how to display where people are working and we couldn't agree because all they had their linear sync and not a uh, a sink in, in, a, in a matrix or in a cogwheel or any other kind of representation. So I told them when they came up, we are working here and here and there, then it was the whole field was nothing and everything else was left out. So like with Professor Töpfer, we had now the third uh, Global Soil Week recently 
And he said, yes, it's a systemic error. We forgot water, we forgot soil, and, and if we don't look in the common frames of references, as we said after Rio, then we are getting lost. So what I did, I was sketching it because it is really looking across disciplines and magnitudes and timescales. And that was the definition of ecology I learned when I studied ecology. So my engineering degree in 73 on raster and matrix operation and on ecological modeling. So I was very early into the Methodenstreit we heard about. And so I said, this is at least spatial, three-dimensional. So I said, it is sectors, natural sciences, life sciences, humanities, it's times, past, present, future, and it's global, local, media, uh, uh, regional, national, global, and then we coined the term global 25 years ago. So I was building it as a black box and a, a white box. And if you understand system sciences, you do the black box, taking it as you cannot immerse, not get uh, complicated in a bird's eye view. But the white box is where you, in detail, with a microscope, not with a macroscope, develop it. So these are my things. I connected this magic round table I'm talking about later to the real world and multilingual, multicultural repositories and data so we can talk and know where we are standing and what we are doing. And this we do in future labs. Robert Jung created this future labs and I think he would have loved to have uh, the SDD because he was also thinking about the fantasy phase and making it back and forth. So I think my thing is dancing all the time, panning in, panning out, and I think mental locomotion is the most natural and cheapest form of healing, and we have to dance it together and create drama. I'm ready. <laughs>